great, 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 great to see the fans in attendance, as you said there, Charlie. People that don't just show up to watch their opponent and then go home, but boxing fans that are here to watch, uh, you know, great competitions like we've got on the main card here today. So really pleased to see that as well. K1 uh, kickboxer fought across Europe uh, on a number of occasions, uh, closing out his career here. Expect fireworks early on in this one, guys. Nick Coe, a heavy hitter. Justice Chowdhury, a forward fighter with a relentless engine. This could be a great fight. Size advantage on the behalf of Justice here, for sure. He's a bigger man. Starting off fast. I thought there wouldn't be a feeling out process, and I was definitely right. Yeah. Good head movement early on here from Nick Coe, but he's tracing his back to the ropes. Needs to be careful not to get caught in the corner by Justice. Nice jab. Two shots land flush there for Justice, and this is Justice's game. He could play this all night long, really could. Nick needs to establish himself as a threat with some venomous shots early on here, I would say. He needs to show Justice that he needs to be wary just coming in, all guns blazing. Absolutely, as you say that, a nice jab landing, flush for Nick Coe. Nick Coe obviously with the K1 background. And with Justice... Getting ready to go to the pros. These guys are well experienced. They know what they're doing. They've been in the ring for a number of years. So I'm really, really excited to see how the whole five rounds will go. And I'm assuming and hoping that they're, they're going to keep up this pace. Absolutely. The thing about Justice's style is it's so exhausting to compete against. He's so long and strong. He's pushing you all the time. He's bearing his weight into you against the ropes, bouncing you off the ropes, holding onto the back of your head when you let him. And see what I'm surprised about is just how nimble he is. And as we say that, Nick Coe with a lovely left hook. 
And again, both men exchanging shots here early in the first round. Nick's hurting him, I think. Oh, they've Good called man. the fight. Good Justin fight. has called the yeah, fight off himself. First round. I don't know what's happened there. Has Justice just felt his power and not wanted it? Has he sustained an injury? We'll see if we can pick up on the cameras what the issue is here for Justice, but... I must say, that's a bizarre turn of events there, guys. Justice Chowdhury, the seasoned veteran, I've seen him absorb punishment that no man should absorb, and he's uh, he's called it off at the end of the first round here. I'm so very surprised by that, Darren. Not too sure what's happened, to be honest with you. Has he sustained an injury, potentially? Did he just feel the power of Nick Coe and he didn't want it? Some controversy in the ring here. Potentially Justice wants to continue with the fight? I'm not sure. They're continuing the fight? I'm Are not they sure. Continuing? I don't know. The cornermen have gone out of the ring and Justice is looking like he wants to continue. Mm, the referee needs to make a decision here because yeah. this could turn turn nasty. Nick Coe's gloves are off. Potentially a clever tactic from the corner of not yes, allowing Justice yes. to come back into the fight. Other than that, he wants to go bare knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Justice didn't quit. Maybe he was shaking his head to say your End punches round, aren't doing yeah, anything to me. I'm not sure. I initially thought that Justice just thought it was the end of the round when he dropped his hands. Highly, highly confused. And we're not ringside on the commentary team here today, guys, unfortunately, due to some audio technical issues. So we can't give you the insight that we usually would be able to, um, which is a, a, a real shame. Shouts from the crowd saying to call it off. Justice eager to carry on, though. Perhaps. I'm not sure. I, I really, I wouldn't even like to speculate. I don't know what's happened there. Mm. <laughs> the referee needs to put his foot down here one way or the other. The fight either continues and we get Nick Coe's gloves back on, or the fight is over as per his initial call, which I think would be the sensible thing to do. I think either way, you know, there's going to be complaints... Um, one way or the other, whatever they call it here. You could be bang on with uh, Justice shaking his head in dispute of, of no, you know, his punches, Nick's punches not hurting him. Yeah. And the referee seeing that as maybe he didn't want to continue. I guess we're going to find out very, very shortly. But in the meantime, I'm going to play an advert.
boxing. Down ringside for your official decision. That was quite underwhelming if I'm uh, if I'm being honest. I was really looking forward to that fight. of them to wait to come out 